Dear students of class 6, welcome to today's program, Amar Ghare, Amar School. Today, once again, I am with you. I am Sohet Firoz Alam. How are you, dear students? I hope all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today, I will take a class from English for today book. It is lesson 16 and you can see the title here, An Old People's Home. Let's see the learning outcomes of today's lesson. Here, you can see the learning outcomes of today's lesson. After we have studied this lesson, we will be able to read and understand texts, ask and answer questions, write short paragraphs. Here, you can see some pictures. Can you guess the location of this picture? Where the people are living? Okay, it may be you can see that they are living at a home, but it is not their original home. It is old people's rehabilitation center. So our today's lesson is an old people's home. Let's learn some words from this lesson. First, you can see fond. It means having an affection or liking for. Next, you can see retired. It means having left one's job and ceased to work. Then you can see widow. It means a woman who has lost her spouse by death and has not married again. You can see abroad. It means in or to a foreign country or countries. Next, you can see colleagues. It means a person with whom one works in a profession or business. Next, you can see bored. It means feeling weary and impatient because one is unoccupied or lacks interest in one's current activity. Miserable. It refers to a person really in an unhappy or uncomfortable situation. Look after. It means take care of. Fairy tales. It means a children's story about magical and imaginary beings and lands. A fairy story. So dear learners, I hope the meanings of these words are clear to you. Let's start our today's lesson. Read the text below. Here you can see a picture. Muriam is a student of class 6 in a government school in Rajshahi. So today we will read about Muriam and some members of her family. Muriam is a student of class 6 and she studies in a government school in Rajshahi. Her mother works in an office and her father is a businessman. Muriam is very fond of her aunt. Her father's sister, Suraya Begum, who lives in another part of the same town. On Fridays, she often goes to her aunt's place and spends time with her. Suraya Begum is a retired school teacher. She is a widow and lives alone. Her husband died three years ago. Her two daughters are married. She has two daughters, both of them are married and live with their families abroad. They talk to her over telephone. The daughters talk to her over telephone and come to visit her whenever they get time. And whenever they get time, they come to visit their mother. Okay, let's move on to our next slide. Suraya Begum has a lot of free time. As she has taken retired, she has a lot of free time. She spends her time in reading books watching TV, visiting friends and relatives. Sometimes she writes letters to her old colleagues. But nowadays she often gets bored of doing all these things. She wants to do something more meaningful. She wants to use her leisure time more fruitfully. Something that would do good to others. She wants to do something good to others. She is planning to establish an old people's home in her locality. She knows some elderly people live all alone. She knows that some elderly people live all 
alone. They have no one to take care of them. The elder people have no one to look after them. They often feel helpless and miserable. The old people often feel helpless and they feel miserable. They need care and support. Dear students, you know that the older people, they need proper care and support. As part of our plan, Suraya Begum started to visit families. As Suraya Begum is pl planning to establish an old people's home, as part of our plan, she visits families. She talks to a number of people. She tries to find out the problems of elderly people in their families. She understands that old people are lonely and often they become sick. They have nobody who will look after them. On Fridays, she often takes Moriam with her on these visits. And Moriam has already become very friendly with some of the old men and women. Moriam has already made friendship with some of the old men and women. They all love Moriam very much. The old people love Moriam very much. She tells them about her school and friends, her studies, her family. And they often tell her funny stories and the old people often tell her funny stories, fairy tales and ghost stories. So this is our text today. So from this text you can see that Moriam is a student of class 6 of a government school in Rajshahi. Her mother works in an office and her father is a businessman. And she is very fond of her father's only sister Suraya Begum who lives alone in another part of the same town. And Surya Begum is a retired school teacher. She is a widow and lives alone. Her husband died three years ago. She has two daughters. Both of them are married and they live abroad. Her daughters talk to her over telephone and whenever they get time, they come to visit her. And as Surya Begum has retired, she has a lot of free time. And in her free time, she reads books, she watches TV, she visits her friends and relatives. Sometimes she writes letters to her old colleagues. But nowadays, she feels bored of doing all these things. She wants to use her leisure time more fruitfully. She wants to do something better for the society. For this reason, she is planning to establish an old people's home in her locality. She knows that some elderly people live all alone. They have no one to take care and support them. They often feel helpless and miserable. The old people need care and support. And as part of her plan, Surya Begum visits families. She talks to a number of people. She tries to find out the problems of elderly people in their families and she realized that the old people are lonely and often feel very miserable and they become sick. They have nobody to look after them. And on Fridays, Surya Begum take Moriam with her on these visits. And Moriam has already made friendship with some of the uh, old men and women. They all love Moriam very much. Moriam tells them about her school, her friends, her studies and her family. And the old people often tell her funny stories, fairy tales and ghost stories. Dear learners, I hope this passage is clear to you. Now, let's do some exercise from this lesson. In the screen, you can see a matching here. Read the text carefully again and match the words on the left with the words on the right that have similar meaning. You have to match these words with their similar meaning. First, let us read the box. Bored, miserable, colleague, widow, support. And on the right column, you can see woman whose husband has died and who hasn't married again. A person on works with in a profession, feeling tired because you don't find interest in something, then help. And at last you can see very unhappy. Okay, let's match the words with their meaning. Bored, 
you can match it with feeling tired because you don't find interest in something miserable it means very unhappy colleague it means a person on works with in a profession widow it means woman whose husband has died and who hasn't married again support it means help dear learners please match once again with me bored you can match it with feeling tired because you don't find interest in something miserable you can match it with very unhappy colleague you can match it with a person on works with in a profession widow you can match it with woman whose husband has died and who hasn't married again and support you can match it with help i hope this matching is clear to you okay let's move on to our next slide read the following sentences and say if the statements are true or false if false then give the right answers so you have already understood that it is true and false and if the statement is false you have to give correct answer okay first let us read the statements number a suraya begum spends most of her time taking care of her family number b she wants to set up a school for adults who cannot read and write number c there is already an old people's home in the town number d moriam enjoys spending time with her aunt number e the old people moriam visits do not like children's presence okay let's find out the answer dear learners can you guess the answers okay let's match with me number a suraya begum spends most of her time taking care of her family as you know that suraya begum is a widow and her daughters live in abroad with their families she has none in her family so suraya begum spends most of her time taking care of her family is a false statement the correct answer will be suraya begum spends most of her time by reading books watching tv and visiting her relatives and friends number b she wants to set up a school for adults who cannot read and write as you have read read the text you have found out that she wants to set up an old people's home she wants to do something for them so the statement is false the correct answer will be she wants to set up an old people's home in her locality number c there is already an old people's home in the town if there was an old people's home in her locality she wouldn't want to set up a uh, old people's home in her locality again so the statement is false the correct answer will be there is no old people's home in the town at present d moriam enjoys spending time with her aunt it is true it is clear to us that moriam enjoys spending time with her aunt e the old people moriam visits do not like children's presence it is false old people like children very much so the correct answer will be the old people moriam visits like children's presence so dear learners i hope the answer is also clear to you now move on to our next slide read the following letter here you can see a letter suraya begum needs many people's help to make her dream come true as she wants to establish an old people's home she needs help from many people to make her dream come true she sits down to write a letter to a friend who was her colleague and who now lives in the next town now let us read the letter dear sharmila how are you i am writing to share with you a plan that i have i know some old people physically weak and lonely people in our town some of them are quite well off and some are not but they all share one common thing that is they live alone and they have no one to take care of them in sickness sometimes they don't have anybody to talk to i have a plan i want to set up 
a home for the old people where they would live like a family and we can be a part of that family too. I need your help because I know that together we can do a lot. Write to me soon. I will wait eagerly for your reply. Your friend, Suraya. So here you can see the letter that she has written to her colleague. Now, it is time to give you some homework. So today's homework is, you can see on the screen, answer the following questions. You have to answer the following questions. Who is the writer of the letter? Number B, who is she writing to? What is the relationship between the two? C, does the writer have any particular reason for writing this letter? D, do you think that Suraya Begum wants to do is her profession or is it a community work? Why do you think so? The things that he wants to do is her profession or is it a community work? You have to give reason in favor of your answer. And in the next, think of some good work that you can do for someone around you. What are they? Now write two or three sentences about what you can do for them. So this is all for today. But remember, I have a request to you. Never ever disobey your parents. Always listen to your parents. Always obey your parents and try to help them. And you must look after them when they are in old age. So dear students, if you want to visit this class or if you want to see this class again, you have to go to our Facebook page, Amar Ghar Amar School, or you can go to our YouTube channel. Also, you can go to Kishor Bhatan. And if you have any questions or if you want to share your opinion with us, please share with us through email. That's all for today. Stay home and stay safe. Thank you, dear students.